What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Power Sports Steve coming to you today from Extreme Power Sports in Opelika, Alabama. Today we have the new 2022 Honda Talon X model. So, you probably already know this, but there's a Talon X, there's a Talon R, there's a live valve, Hox live valve suspension option. We're going to talk about all those models, we'll show you this model in depth, and kind of go from there. So, come along, let's take a look. All right, folks, as we already discussed, this is the X model. This is the Fox Live Valve Edition. So if you don't know what that means, that means it has suspension that is basically constantly adjusting. And by constantly adjusting, we're talking about, you know, basically it takes a bunch of inputs from your throttle position, your speed, um, the traction, I mean, everything that's going on this thing basically adjusts every five milliseconds is what I'm told according to the Honda people in my life all right so what's the difference between an X and an R you might say so an X is gonna be a little more narrow uh, the R has a longer wheelbase wider and basically the suspension is gonna be a little bit different on the R model the X model, of course, also comes with the top still. We did not add the top, so that is something that is basically a factory standard option on it. If you don't know anything about Hondas, at least as far as the big stuff goes, the Hondas all run the dual clutch transmission. So something that is unique to Honda. All your other manufacturers like uh, you know Polaris or Suzuki or Can-Am, they're all going to run a CVT type transmission. Honda has never done the CVT transmission. Well, I shouldn't say never. Way back, maybe in the 70s, they talked about the Odysseys or something like that. But anyway, uh, as far as ATVs go and side by sides, they always run uh, either the dual clutch transmission or their three speed auto. Well, I guess there was one other one on the old Rubicon, but that's a whole other day. We won't talk about that one. It was kind of garbage. Uh, sorry, I should say garbage, maybe. Anyway, let's break this down a little bit and get inside, take a look around, and talk about some of the cool features that it has on it. Um, also today, here in just a moment, just so everybody knows, I have, once again, helping me today, Mr. Clayton. Yes, sir. Mr. Clayton's going to tell you all about launch mode here in just a second, one of the coolest features on the Honda Talon. And we also have, what's that? We like to go faster. We like, that's right, we do like to go fast. Don't tell anybody, but we do. Uh, also, we have Miss Abby helping us again today. She's all excited. She's going to talk maybe a little bit about that CF Meadow later. She didn't know it yet, but she might talk about it a little bit later. All right, so again, we talked about it's got the Fox suspension. This is the X. You can see much more narrow. It does have a bed in the back, so uh, enough room to put your cooler or maybe let the puppy ride in here if you're going slow. Um, why do you put the kids in here? Don't do that though. That's dangerous. I, don't don't ever put your kids in the back. That's just bad. <laughs> All right, we pulled this little cover off. You guys can see very easy access, uh, very easy to get off. You guys can get to the airbox and do your oil changes, um, all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna just kind of leave that there for just a second. We'll have somebody help me put that back. All right, we're gonna talk about the intelligent four-wheel drive system. If you don't know what that is. Let's get inside in the cockpit area here. All right, folks. So, interactive four-wheel drive and just regular two-wheel drive. So most of the time you're gonna ride in two-wheel drive when the conditions are a little, I don't know, more muddy, let's say, a little loose, maybe some sand, some rock. Uh, you've got an interactive four-wheel drive system. So when you flip that on, basically what it's gonna do is allow the machine to adjust the torque that goes to each wheel. Um, so a good example, let's just say you're climbing over a log and you're kind of, you know, going sideways and you get one wheel that's up in the air. Uh, that wheel is just going to sit there and spin. You're going to have like a two-wheel drive machine, kind of like the old, uh, or more like some of your old four-wheel drive Honda four-wheelers. You're just going to get a two-wheel drive machine at that time. This is not going to do that. It's going to not worry about that wheel and it's going to apply more pressure to the other wheels that are making contact and help you uh, get over that log. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, of course, you got the hill stuff, uh, if you don't know about that. Launch mode, we're talking about just a second. Um, transmission, I know we mentioned it has the DCT transmission. Um, multiple modes you can run this in if you don't know. 
automatic, manual, and then you have sport. Sport's really just for auto. Um, basically, it changes kind of your shift parameters. So it makes it a little more aggressive in the way that it shifts and all that kind of stuff. And then manual mode. Manual mode means you can't see. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here. All right. Manual mode means you can use these toggle shifters or paddle shifters. Not toggle. Paddle, toggle's about a word. To uh, paddle shifters. Uh, you can shift up. You can shift down. You can control uh, whenever you want to shift. Uh, pretty much at any time, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's turn the key on real quick. Take a look at the dash. It's got a pretty cool dash. Oh, one thing I didn't. Sorry, I'm skipping ahead. Uh, on the left hand side here, you can see that you've got your light switches, on off, high beam, uh, low beam. And then on your suspension, one more mode, you've got your normal and your sport mode. Sport, again, just a little more aggressive as far as where the tuning is and everything in that live valve suspension. Uh, we're not going to talk a whole lot about that. I think y'all get the idea of how that works. Uh, shut the door real quick. But uh, back to the dash, you can see it's got your tachometer, your gear indicator, uh, of course, odometer. Uh, it tells you if you're in sport mode on your suspension or if you're in standard. Uh, this is basically some uh, diagnostic and power steering stuff uh, for your lights. As soon as it starts, that's all going to go away. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, up here, you can barely see it because of the light. Let's see if I can put my hand over there. There we go. All right, now you can see it. So in the top left corner, uh, it's going to tell you it's in two-wheel drive. When we swap, uh, sw hit the switch here for the iPhone wheel drive. Uh, it's going to tell you it's in, and then all four tires are going to be lit up, of course, on that. Let's see. It's got, there you go. I'm trying to hide the shadow. Clock on the bottom left, and then across the left, also you can see there's a fuel gauge. Uh, dis those bars dissipate as you run out of fuel. And then right here, it's got a little button. It's going to toggle between your trip meters, your engine oil, and your water uh, temperature, letting you know if it's cold or hot. Hour meter, uh, around 3.2 hours in this particular machine. Uh, voltage output. Um, so on this mode, you see it says 89 miles. This is going to be set up from the factory to count backwards from 100 miles for your first oil change. There's a wrench right there telling you this is for your service. So once that reaches zero, it's time to service it. <coughs> the other option, again, set from the factory is to count backwards from 20 hours. Still got the wrench on the top, so 20 hours or 100 miles will be your first service in this particular vehicle. I don't know if you can kind of see these lights are not lit up, but you've got the little uh, oil, old school oil canister light right there. Uh, diagnostic stuff right there, reverse, neutral, temp light, all that kind of good stuff. And hit that one more time, it goes back to your odometer. That's it. 12 volt outlet right here as well. Charge up your cell phone or whatever you need to do. So if your wife's riding with you, uh, significant like other, somebody, you've got the kind of the oh you know what handle, I'm gonna call it right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we've got a glove box. Of course, inside the glove box, we've got your owner's manual right now. It's for whoever buys the machine. This grout handle, by the way, you can't actually take this off if you don't want it on here. I don't know why you wouldn't want it. Um, if I'm riding with anybody, I want the grout handle. <laughs> Two cup holders here in the middle, and of course your shifter right here. You've got park, reverse, neutral, high range, and low range. Um, something to make a note, um, this seat does have a lever to adjust the seat as far as back and forth. Um, I'm six foot three. You can see how much room is in the cockpit here. Um, I definitely wouldn't care if I had a little extra room, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Honda does give you some cutouts here to add factory or to add factory light switches. You can add a light switch, a winch uh, switch, you know, whatever you guys want to do, you can do. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the most part. I think I mentioned it comes at the top. Oh, doors. We'll go ahead and pull this one shut up so you can see it. Pull it shut. It also has the net. So net basically. Uh, clips up into the top right here, and you're gonna keep your arms from flailing around. Uh, heaven forbid you uh, dump this thing on the side or go flying, uh, have a wild ride. Keep you from breaking stuff, hopefully. All right, so I think what we're gonna do now is we're going to grab Mr. Clayton 
And Clayton is going to talk about launch mode, one of the more interesting factors that we have on this vehicle. And uh, I think we're going to have a little demo, maybe show you guys how this thing works. I think that'd be pretty cool. What do you think, Clayton? I'm so down to show you all how to do launch mode. <coughs> the launch mode it does need to warm up a little bit to get the full feature going um, good news is we rode around a little bit before we started doing the video so hopefully it'll work for us today uh, on your launch mode when you're riding in your mud parks dirt roads whatever it may be you want to get a little extra oomph this is the mode for you um, so what you're going to do just to engage it I'll go over that real quick you're going to want to have your foot on uh, uh, before you do that you know what I'm going to do I'm going to get in there with you because I, I, I want to feel the power all right that sound good Let's do it, let's do it. Look at Abby over there. She's ready, she's like, y'all are in trouble. We're probably in trouble, but that's okay. All right, well, I got to unclip. All right, of course we gotta make sure we're buckled up, so we're all good there. 100%. All right, you wanna, you wanna maybe go just the edge of the grass over here so we can get a little more traction. And All right. I think that looks pretty good. So, All right, so tell us about it. Um, for launch mode to work, the biggest thing is to start off, you will have to have your foot on the brake. Um, you can do launch mode in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Today we're just going to be in two-wheel drive while we do it. Um, to start off, foot's on the, on the brake, you're going to hold down the launch mode button. Once it's engaged, you're going to hold down both shifters. Once that happens, you're going to put your foot on the gas, get it going, and then let it go. That, my friends, is launch mode. All right, folks, if you want to know more about the Honda Talon, look us up on YouTube, everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, etc. And thanks for watching. Y'all have a great one. Thanks, Clayton. Appreciate it. Thanks, Steve.